Hello friends, uh, I am live here in Jerusalem. We are just south of the old city. If you can see the sun is just peeking through the clouds uh, and hitting some villages down here. You can see the Temple Mount just right there in the old city walls just peeking right before the Temple Mount. Uh, so glad if you're watching today. I am actually just a few feet away from my apartment and I wanted to give you guys an inside look into the weather, into Jerusalem, um, talk about some regulations that Israel and the Ministry of Health has deemed necessary for Israelis living uh, here in Israel and kind of show you the view of this incredible park with this olive grove uh, beautiful garden right here in the city center of Jerusalem. Again, if you're just joining, incredible view of the old city walls, Temple Mount, Dome of the Rock right there. So, man, we love God. We, uh, we bless his name. And our staff gathered for uh, a meeting. Gosh, what's today? Wednesday? So we gathered, I believe, Monday. And we just talked about some things that we were all feeling about this... Uh, current situation and some of us here in Israel are having to quarantine ourselves. In fact, some of the new regulations kind of had us maybe a little bit um, filled with some anticipation, some anxiety, and it was such a time of encouragement from each and every individual to see where their heart was, but to know that their trust is in the Lord. And uh, I, I've been amazed at something as simple as a virus that a lot of people go through yearly, maybe not this specific one, externally has separated us, um, but internally and spiritually, it's actually binding us together where, where even the rest of the world is finding unity in something that is externally pushing them. I'm just shocked by uh, some things. My friend who lives in Peru, funny enough, videoed people shouting and singing from their balconies, you've probably seen similar videos in Italy where they unified in something that was actually, they unified themselves in something that was actually a hardship. They were forced, uh, quarantined into their homes, yet they rallied together to be unified as a nation. And would that just be a foretelling of how we will be unified as a body of believers who believe Yeshua is Messiah and we can be unified in spirit and truth using technology at our advantage to share, to speak, to pray, to declare the truth of the Lord, that he is good and he is righteous, um, that we will dwell in the shadow of the Almighty, that no disease or sickness uh, will bring death or calamity upon us because we have life and life forever and ever and ever. So I just declare that over you. And that was kind of the exciting thing that we were unified in technology we were on a Zoom call with our whole team praying and kind of being vulnerable about where we were emotionally. It was a beautiful time that we don't actually get together that often because we're such a remote team. And because of the coronavirus, we actually gathered together and prayed like we had never done before. So kind of exciting to see external circumstances affecting us in a positive way. Um, to give you a little insight, Israel is being extremely strict on the quarantine. They um, they really want people to stay at home. They want to make sure that close contact doesn't happen so the virus doesn't spread. It's important for us to listen to what the Israeli government is dictating and kind of follow along. So we have been working remote, me and my wife. Our kids are not allowed to go to school. We can only leave our home if we are going for a walk in the park, as I'm doing right now. As a family unit, uh, a couple other rules is you can't actually leave your house unless you have to go to work if you're going to the grocery store to buy groceries or if you are going to the pharmacy to get medicine anything outside of that is not necessary so you must stay in your home and i'm sure many people around the world watching you might already be uh, going through um, similar circumstances of quarantining so we're alongside of you and uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of i don't know insight into what the Ministry of Health is uh, dictating for us. And you can all obviously look this up online if you want to see the exact rules and regulations. Um, I want you to know that our team got together and we're praying. We're praying heavily for uh, 
the ministry, for the leadership here, for ministry leaders who are going to be and are affected by this having to push their teams remote or not have so many people in the office working. We, uh, we invite you to pray with us. Would you pray with us to uh, see a unified body that they would encourage each other. They would be using technology to reach out and to send scripture and just be encouraging. I, it's been so encouraging for me to have that sent my way from different groups that I'm a part of. So um, thank you so much, Jack. I see you there praying from Tennessee. So awesome. Um, I don't know. Let's just pray right now, if you guys wouldn't mind. I want to just lift up Israel and the rest of the world to see unity spring forth um, from maybe what the enemy's trying to separate us, that we would actually be unified. So, unified. So, Father, I just bless your name. I thank you for this beautiful day. Um, I thank you that we get to pray in unison using technology right now for those that are watching live or for those that watch later. God, that our earnest heart would say, would you unify us? Would what, was, what, what is being potentially meant for evil is actually turned for good. What's trying to divide is actually unifying us in Yeshua's name. Father, I pray for any heart in any life that is listening to this, that is feeling separated or alone. Maybe you live in your own apartment. God, would you fill their heart with your spirit, your truth, and, and your word that the, the comforter would come into their life, into their apartment, into their house, wherever they might find themselves, um, and be filled with the joy of the Lord, be filled with uh, hope uh, and faith that we're all going to make it through this and that we would be a, a stronger body even at the end. So God, thank you for the ministry leaders who are pressing forward. Would you give them vision to uh, be able to speak to their uh, teams. They would be able to have faith to speak to those that are under them. God, we pray for the ministry of interior, that they would just be filled with wisdom. Uh, we pray for our leadership and our authority, that you would just fill them with um, as much insight as they need to make the right decisions and the, and the right steps for this society, for Israel, uh, to be protected. But God, we know that you are the Almighty One. You are the creator of all, that you're, you are the number one protector of Israel, and we bless your name for it. So Father, thank you for prayer. Thank you for your word, and we thank you for truth. We love you and praise you in Yeshua's name. Amen. All right, guys. So glad you joined me. I'll give you one last incredible view of uh, Jerusalem here. I'll flip the camera around. It is a beautiful day. It's a little bit chilly, but great view of Jerusalem. If you're curious what you're looking at, right over here is the Mount of Olives looking over to the old city there very cool beautiful olive grove that we're actually walking and praying through right now um, sun's just going down it's currently 4 5 p.m. thank you so much Sue for praying with us Rebecca Long thank you so much for praying All right, family, thanks so much for joining. Can't wait to see you on another live video watching. Uh, yeah, soon this will be over, and we want you guys to come visit because Israel uh, is a blessed nation, and we want it to continue to yeah, be a light to the nations around. So I think you need to come. Come to one of our conferences, Jerusalem Encounter. We are uh, seeing what's going to happen this year. It's supposed to happen in June. Coronavirus still uh might have an effect on that but soon the borders will be back open in jesus name all right love you guys see you soon talk to you later